So on that Sunday morning, we had approximately 15 adults right down the block at 9 South William. And before I began, I asked a question. I asked, anyone know where the first synagogue in North America was? So, gentlemen, for those that think that they came here today just to celebrate history, we are here to celebrate history, but not just history. We're here celebrating our future. Today is a very special day and a wonderful opportunity when we gather like this, with a group like this, on an important task of unveiling and dedicating the plaque. But the reason we chose today, the plaque was ready two months ago. To be a little dramatic about it, today, September 6th, is the last time, 365 years ago, that there were no Jewish Americans. This is the Pepperfoot Award. There's somebody in this audience who has received many greater awards than this, but there is nobody who is more deserving of the Bowling Green Peppercorn Award. If I can open this and present this. That individual is John E. Herzog. Uh, I am moved. I had no idea that this award was going to find its way into my hands. When I first became rabbi of a synagogue in Brooklyn Heights, there was an elderly Holocaust survivor who came into the office one day and he said, could you give me the addresses of different synagogues in New York? I said, sure, but you live here in Brooklyn. Why do you want synagogues all around New York? He says, because I saw synagogues being destroyed on Kristallnacht. And when I see there are synagogues that are being built, when I see there are synagogues that are thriving, I realize there's hope for the future. I think that he is looking down today and extremely proud that Mill Street Synagogue is being preserved. On behalf of my family, this is an incredible honor for all of us um, to be part of this really uh, a special ceremony. I want to commend Arthur and his group, um, the Bowling Green Association, and thanks to the Reckler family for recognizing this. I um, first uh, became aware of the, uh, that this was the first synagogue in North America when I did a walking tour for the uh, Congregation Sheriff Israel about 15 years ago. Uh, you've of course heard today about the arrival of the first Jews in 1654 and the establishment of the synagogue here in 1730. Fast forward a few years and members of that congregation played a critical role in support of the Patriot cause in the American Revolution.